welcome to another edition of Africa Sideways. My name is Big Six Simpson coming to you from the beautiful Cape Town on the eve of the Argus Cycle Tour. We've got something small and sophisticated for you today. The new Opel Adam 1 litre turbo and this thing rocks ladies and gentlemen. Pretty economical, 7 to 8 kilometers per 100 k's if you're driving conservatively. Pretty uneconomical if you put it in. But that's not what this car is about. It's about style, it's about panache. And most importantly, it's about handling. This car is probably one of the best handling cars I've driven all year. Very little tire, tire squeak on this car, even in extreme conditions. We'll take this hair pit on here and I'll show you. you see, no real tire spin there. And that was, that's a full 180 hairpin. Good job, Opal. We're really making a comeback with some proper styling after just being a bit of a copycat and been a bit of a non-entity for the last 10 years. Opal is starting to come back at it. Reminds me of the old Superboss days. Turbocharged Opal engines used to sing all day long, ladies and gentlemen. Another beautiful day here in Cape Town. So this is kind of taking on the Fiat 500. Made all the other companies want to get in on the, on the compact city slicker market. This is made for somebody who doesn't need boot space. Small, compact, fuel efficient operator, so to speak. Price-wise, this thing's coming in at starting off at 200,000 Rand, about 16,000 pounds. It's one of the more expensive small little zippy hatches in the country. You're going up against your 500E, your Ford Fiesta, and your Mini Cooper, which is a lot more expensive than that. The other cars are cheaper. So this is kind of in between your luxury German cars and your cheaper. Japanese and American offerings. What this does offer is a lovely sunroof here. Beautiful for summer's days and in Cape Town, let me tell you that. And then if you want to, you can bury it and we try and do the jump. Whoa! It's all there, ladies and gentlemen. It's all there. Quite a low front end, so you might bump it once or twice, but that's not my concern. We're going to see what the handling's like. Lovely rev on this engine. You can throw it into the corner. Stays there. A little bit of tire squeal. 18-inch, very low profiles on this thing. All the way up the hill, yeah. Let's see how she does on a little jump. Oh, that's lovely. Have a lot of fun with this car, even though it's a one litre turbo. It's here to play, ladies and gentlemen. You can get this up to about 200 kilometers an hour. Amazing what you can get out of a small engine these days. This thing's a real head turner as well, especially when you've got the top down. A lot of people have asked me about this car. Uh, it's a conversation starter, so to speak. If you want to, if you move to a new city, or you get to know some new people, get yourself an Opal Rocks. It's kind of like having a Land Rover Defender that's going to open a few doors. Now we're going to do the industry standard north to 100 up and down the hill and see if we can get some air. Let's do this. 5,000 revs, that's 50, 60. 80, slated, 0 to 100 in just under 10 seconds and we're there now. Let's see if we can get some air. Whoa! 120 over the top, not a problem. With the new Opal rocks. This thing really does rock. It's the rock of ages. Quite quiet in here, even 
Now it's got the, 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 the clothy type of roof vibe. You don't get too much of, of noise from that. Let's see what it's like in the street. Doing 90 kilometers an hour here. This is the sort of noise you're getting. Definitely less than you get in the MX-5 and in any convertible, so it's, it's very durable. Downside of this car, if you press that, it doesn't automatically close, you've got to manually close the roof the whole way. That's a minor problem. And then a, a more major problem I find is when you're driving at night, you can't see the the high beam. So you could be driving and you don't know that it's a high beam because this steering wheel is pretty much in your eye line. The air conditioning needs a bloody rocket scientist to work out. It doesn't say AC, it's just got a, a sign that looks like an AC. So just put a big AC button on there. Not, not everybody is that smart myself so we need a little bit of guidance it's like a freaking rocket ship in here I like the styling it looks new it's not doesn't look most cars just copy each other the whole time this looks new and original so well done to open on that beautiful engine the gearbox is stunning S scintillating manual very light clutch doesn't even feel like you like you like you're driving a, a manual so to speak yeah, it just turned another head. So for 250,000 Rand, you can turn as many heads as if you're driving a friggin' Ferrari. So I think somebody at the Opal Marketing Department needs to take a bow. Wipers work. It's really, I don't know how to describe this pattern, but it's really, it's really growing on me. Bucket seats. Keep my fat ass where it needs to be when I'm getting the the juice is going. So all in all for the price, it is a little bit pricey, 250 for this car. I mean you, you can get a big sensible little family wagon for that, but in terms of fun, drivability, and just something a little different, you, you really can't go wrong with this car. Another thing I like about this car is it has a key and if, haven't gone with the Namsi Pamsi keyless system, so that's good. This is part of the General Motors group, so you're going to get good after sales. Loads of dealerships around here. It's also part of the, they are part of our Suzu, so I think some of our Suzu reliability has, has, has washed off on, on General Motors in South Africa, which can't be a bad thing. In terms of legroom in the back, you're not going to have much of that, so don't expect to use this as a family wagon. If you have kids, don't bother getting the two doors, it's just a pain in the ass. This is for somebody upwardly mobile without kids that just wants to zip around and have a laugh. And that's what the new Opal Adam rocks. Get handling around the... You see... Oh, there you get a bit of tire squeal. But you'd expect that going around a corner like that. It's some speed ladies and gentlemen so it's been a busy couple of weeks here on Africa sideways with the MX-5 the new Ranger the new CX-3 it really has all been happening so we're gonna take a couple of weeks break and then we've got the new Ford Everest I've been really looking forward to that one I'd even take it out of town and have a bit of fun so have yourselves a blessed week and we'll catch you next time on Africa Sideways. This car was named after Adam Opal, the founder of the company. Kind of a centenary, centenary edition. It's quite funny doing this, a centenary edition of a little mini. But hey, there's enough big cars out there to have a little a little bit of fun.